Alright, so we're up under the truck. And service engine light came on. P0151, which is sensor 1, bank 2, O2 sensor. Didn't look it up, but I would assume bank 2 is passenger side. So there it is. And they both look original. There's bank 1. It's got 239,000 miles on it. So I went ahead and I bought two new Denso. Picked them up on Amazon for I think $22 and I think Advanced Auto Parts was wanting like 51 or maybe these were 25 so I basically got two for the price of one so we're going to just go ahead and change both of them out they're the same age and um, they start getting a little sloppy in their readings before they fail well they get sloppier and sloppier until it finally shows a uh, service engine light so what you'll need to get these out you might can do it with a either a 7 8 or a 22 millimeter open end wrench I'm actually going to try that first because it's easier to get that in there if that fails I've actually got an O2 sensor socket see it's got a uh, cut in the side for a uh, for the wire feed the wire through the cut and this is a come on, focus. See, seven eighths, twenty-two millimeter. So, but it's kind of it's kind of tight to get a ratchet in there. So, I might could do it and put a box tin on there. But we're gonna try open end right there first. Put a little pressure and see if it'll come off. So let me see if I can get this one off. And it plugs in. Just follow the wire. So let me um, get this one out and we'll go from there. All right, so I had a little bit of a setback. Um, got the old sensor off, and I'll show you how to remove the other one um, when I remove it. But um, I realized right as I was taking it off that I did not have the right O2 sensor. And I actually left the old one in the car in the forerunner. I can't I can show you the new ones. Um, you can see this plug right here. It's got a kind of a flat four prong plug. Mine has this square plug, the old one did, and the connector on the truck has a square plug. So, I did some checking, it turns out it's two different O2 sensors, two different upstream, two different ones that are before the cat, two different styles, one for uh, trucks built in Canada and one for not built in Canada, and it turns out my truck is built in Canada, I did not realize that. So, when you order your O2 sensors, either look at the plug or check to see where it was manufactured. Although this truck has spent its whole life down south in the Texas area, it was built in Canada. So, that being said, I will, uh, I'll show you what I did to get the old one off. Oh, and I checked the Amazon price on these. The I paid $25, I'm pretty sure, for the other one. The Amazon price for these were $36. And uh, I got them for the same price with the coupon at Advanced Auto. So I just went and picked them up. And then I'll, I'll return the other ones to Amazon. Alright, so back under the truck. And I showed you before where the sensor was, and I was able to use a open end wrench um, to get it out. It wasn't all that. I mean, it was tight, but it wasn't 
froze up on there. Um, nice, one of the nice things about having a uh, southern vehicle. So we got our medium sensor. Sorry, I should have opened it prior. Here's our new one. And it's a Denso. The old one was a Denso. And so, before we put it on there, first of all, I'm get, you've got these little clips that come on there. And I'm going to take this one off because the one that's on my wire loom is still there. I'll just reuse, clip the new one in the old clip. So, got our new sensor here. And it came with Never Sees. So, we're going to put some of that on the threads. And when I do this again, or if I do it again, Those look like the original sensors, so they lasted 240,000 miles. So there may not be another time on these. Just cook the threads. I'll give you a lot. We'll probably only need one package for both sensors. Got it on there good. There, it's gonna get dirty. We got a little bit on the sensor right there. We'll wipe it off. All right. So sensor one. Wait, this is sensor two. This is sensor one, bank two. This is the one that was giving me the service engine soon light. So you can see right there where it is. And I got it with just a boxed in wrench or open end wrench. All right, let me thread this in and get it tight, and then we'll route our wire. All right, so sensor is tight, and I will just route this over the frame, which is how it routed before. Actually, it goes, let's see, through here, and through there, just like that. It comes out over here, and here's that clip I was talking about. See, it's in the wire loom, and the old clip's fine. The new one just comes in here like this. See, it's snapped in. Wire plugs in. Let's see, did it snap all the way in? Dirt falling. There it goes. All right, so it snapped all the way in. And it's got this little keeper. Keeps it from coming unplugged. And it goes right in that little gap there. Like that. So when you're unplugging this, the other side, you pull the little blue thing out and then you you know unclip it and pull the wire out and then you you push push on this little clip and slide it out so pretty easy I'm gonna do the other side and I'm not gonna 
film the other side because it's just like this side. It's also a tight fit, so I'm hoping I can um, get it out also without with uh, using a open end wrench. But if not, I do have the socket. It's just going to be a tight fit. I may have to use the socket and put a boxed in wrench on the end of it because I don't know if I can get a ratchet in there. So, anyway. Um, I'll show y'all when I race the codes on it. A little bit of an oil leak. Anyway, um, so here's this one. This one's going to be a little tougher, but if you've got a two-wheel drive, it's not going to be as bad. Um, we've got this drive shaft right in the way. And then the plug on it looks like it's behind the transmission. Behind the shifter on the transmission, right? And there, see that little blue? That's the plug for the O2 sensor, so we'll have to dig that out. So let me get my boxed in wrench, or open end wrench, and see if I can get that sensor out. Alright, so there's the old one. This one actually wasn't bad but I'm replacing both of them. So, it's just as old. It looks OEM. Most, most people who replace them would probably go back with the Bosch because they're easy to find. Um, kind of got to look around for the Densos. So, this one had, uh, both of them are still Densos, so probably the originals. So there's where it was. And the plug was just laying in there, right, right behind here, and it was not clipped in, and the little clip piece is missing. But I've got a new one, new clip piece on the new sensor. So I have to look in there somewhere up in there. You can see the plug, but I gotta find out where it's supposed to clip in because I don't want it just laying in there. I want it to clip back where it's supposed to go. So I'll have to look around see where it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and screw in the new sensor and then I'll show you once it's in. As you can see I got just enough room to get this open end in there and tighten it up. So let me get it tight. Alright. So let's see. Let's see if y'all can see. Um, let me see where y'all are looking. I can see with my eyes. I'm gonna line it up with the camera. Okay, so see. Okay, so in your top right. Okay, see, look. See the dark spot coming over, coming over, right there? You can see that clip right on the fuel lines top right of your screen. Very top right. Okay, it's going to go black. See it? That's the clip. So I got to get that wire up in there and clipped in there. So let me do that. Okay. So, there it is. You can see it. Um, clipped right where it's supposed to go with the little blue keeper in place. So we're done and it's tight. So let me clear the code out and we'll be done. And I'm going to let it off the jack stands. Alright, and connect it. It's okay. So you can see it's got one code in it. It's got the P0151, bank 2, sensor 1, that should be passenger side sensor 1, but we replaced both sensors, both sensor 1s, bank 1 and 2. So let's go back, and let's go to erase codes, 
Yes, erase done. So now let's go to read codes, stored codes, no codes. So we got it all cleared out. 